Well, Thailand's former Prime Minister Takshin Shinawatra has returned to the country after 15 years in self-imposed exile. His historic homecoming comes on a day when uh, his Thai party is seeking to form a government and end the political deadlock in the nation after the recent elections. The ousted leader was swiftly taken to court and has been sentenced to eight years in jail for convictions passed during his absence. His return comes on a day when Thailand uh, elected its new Prime Minister, Shreda Thawasin, who won the backing of the parliament, putting an end to weeks of political stalemate. He secured the support of more than half of the legislature, despite his Pew Thai party coming second in the May election. Uh, but he has a big task at hand of forming and holding a potentially fragile coalition, which includes parties backed by the royalist military, he played a key role in overthrowing the government in 2006 and the 2014 coup. Chinavatra was one of the leaders ousted by the military in 2006. He was elected as Thailand's prime minister in 2001. He headed the nation's first elected government, which uh, completed a four-year term. But after the ouster, he was accused of multiple criminal offences, including corruption, tax evasion and also human rights abuse, for which uh, for his war on drugs that left thousands dead. To avoid imprisonment, he fled the country in the year 2008. Since Shinavatra's ouster in 2006, Thailand's politics has remained turbulent. Another military coup in 2014 deposed his daughter from the PM's post. However, the 74-year-old billionaire businessman Shinavatra has been Thailand's most prominent politician for decades and his influence still remains immense. His popularity was visible at the airport with supporters greeting him in large numbers. Wearing red t-shirts, waving banners and singing songs, the red t-shirts is a political movement that was formed following the military coup in the year 2006 which ousted Shinavatra. Experts say his return could be a result of a deal with the military establishment that could now lead to an early release from jail as well.